Yesterday, I posted episode 1 of Kyle Slickman's My Rise Journey. Now, in that video, I believe I created the perfect replica of the man himself. So this video is going to be the creation process where I share all the secrets with you on how to create Kyle Slickman in WWE 2K22. Whilst he may seem like a pretty easy build, there are many small details that you need to get right to truly do justice to the greatest of all time. So make sure to have a notepad and pen ready as this gets pretty technical. Okay, so we're about to create the one and the only Kyle Slickman. I just want to say before we start that any creation I come up with here will be added to the Community Creations tab. So if you're a fan of the Kyle Slickman that I create in this video, then you can go ahead and download it from the Community Creations tab using Slickman and Diamond Lobby as the hashtags. So moving on with the creation, it seems like Striker is the only option here, and then Light Heavyweight for the weight class. Now I've only created a few wrestlers before, but I've always thought that no persona helps the most, especially when we're creating someone as basic as Kyle Slickman. So obviously I'm going to fill in the name information as Kyle Slickman, so I'm just going to skip to that part so you don't have to watch me typing in his name a hundred times. So I've just typed it in and the abbreviated name is actually too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete Slickman from it so it's just Kyle. Other than that, everything looks pretty good, apart from obviously the presentation name, so we're just going to go ahead and delete that nickname and try and find Kyle in this list. Okay, perfect. It's right at the bottom of the K names, but it is there, so you can have Kyle as the sole nickname. So that's all looking good. I'm going to go ahead and accept the name information and get into designing the GOAT. Right, okay, here it is, the most important part. So, picking the face of Kyle, it looks like maybe top left is probably the best for him. I'm not too sure at the minute. It's either probably top left or maybe the one just inside. But that's a pretty good start. I feel like that looks... Especially, I'm trying to I'm trying to visualise the specs on him. I'm trying to put the sunglasses on in my head and, uh, and see how he looks. Uh, so that one's a pretty strong candidate. What about this one? How do you look? Uh, I'm not really sure. His eyes do look a little bit too big, and even though they're going to be covered up by sunglasses, I'm probably just going to stick with the top left, because I feel like that is more his face, to be honest. And the beautiful thing about Kyle is that that is all we need to do on face, because he doesn't actually have any other features, really. So moving on to body, what have we got here? We've got body type, skin colour, veins, and default. So in body type, this is what he looks like at the minute. What are the other ones looking like? Does that make him more muscly? Uh, no, that actually makes him leaner. So I think the build that we've currently got for Slickman is a little bit too stocky, so I'm going to go to the top right of the medium section and select this one. So let's head into edit attire and then appearance. So first off, we need to get rid of that ridiculous hair because, let's be honest, Kyle doesn't rock any hair and never will. Click X to remove. That is the easiest decision we've ever made. Now we need to add his facial hair, so he does kind of have a moustache, but he also has a goatee, so I'm feeling like we're going to have to add both of these. Now, which one of these really suits the Kyle Slickman look? Um, none of these are looking great, apart from maybe this one. This one kind of looks like the, the, the goatee he's got going on. Um, or this one on the left, although this one I think has sideburns slash, yeah, it has a chin strap, so I think we're going to go with this one and try to make it work. So the only problem with this is it doesn't really have any upper lip hair, so we're going to have to go in and try and find him a moustache that suits the goatee. Now, all of these look quite good, but for some reason they're like sitting a little bit above the rest of the goatee. Uh, what about this one on the far right? Okay, okay, that actually that fits perfectly, so that gives him a little bit more upper lip hair and kind of completes the goatee a little bit more, so we're going to go ahead and select that one. So aside from those two facial hair features, we're going to go ahead and advance because I don't think there's anything else we need to add. Now onto clothing. So this is the fun part as all of the little things that make Kyle who he is will be in this section. So immediately we're going to click on head and go down to glasses to try and find him the perfect pair of Oakley shades. So there are some pretty wild suggestions here. Um, none of these look like anything Kyle would ever wear, but hopefully we can get down to a section that's a bit more normal. Yeah, these ones are starting to look a bit more regular, and oh my god, have we just found them. And oh my god, yes they are, they are exactly the sunglasses that he wears. Incredible, so we're gonna add those, and to be honest, he kind of looks like him already. Now I've already had a look for it, and there's no option to put a headset on, but I'm gonna go into headwear anyway, and see if there's any sort of audio technician things we can add. So scrolling down here, it's just a bunch of bandanas and stuff that I have no idea why anyone would wear. Anything? Oh, there are headphones, to be fair. I'm not sure they're exactly ones that Kyle would wear. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. He looks a bit silly in those. What's that? Is that something around the ear? Oh, okay. 
okay, that kind of works. That kind of works. That looks like he's... I mean, it's not connected to anything. It looks pretty stupid. But that's kind of Kyle Slickman's aesthetic, is it not? It looks like he's got someone in his ear telling him who to take down in the crowd. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that on. And I don't really want it in white, so we're going to change material. Can we change the material? Um, what does metallic do? Oh, metallic look, makes it look kind of cool. Uh, there's some some really wild ones here. I feel like metallic probably is the, the look we're going for. It makes it stick out a little bit more, but it also keeps it black, which is in line with the rest of Kyle's aesthetic. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and select the metallic material option. Right, now that's looking pretty Kyle Slickman, if you ask me. Okay, moving on to upper body, we've got to get the most skin tight shirt of all time. So let's have a look down these options and they all look a bit kind of wrestlery for me. We need him to look like an audio technician, not like an actual wrestler. So, okay, I've had to flick across to the generic tab just to try and find something a little bit more Kyle Slickman. And actually, is that, the, is that what we're looking for? Please tell me. Oh yeah, that's absolutely perfect, right? We're going for this. Uh, obviously, we've got to change it to black, but I'm getting very excited because that's exactly the kind of shirt that Kyle would wear. Okay, so we're going to color, um, first color, and then black. Oh, beautiful. It really is a work of art already. That shirt has made a huge difference. Uh, let's go find a gold chain because that is really going to complete the look. So I imagine it will be in the neck accessory section. Uh, go in here and flick down. How are these looking? There's nothing. Oh, okay. This looks promising. How does that look? That looks pretty good, to be honest. That does look pretty good. But there is another one here. Um, how different does that look? Not very different at all. I'm not really sure what the difference is there. Um, what else is there? Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yes, that's it. That is it. That's perfect. That is perfect. There is Kyle Slickman's necklace. So just for uh, just for reference, if you want to put this on yourself, you go to the top and top left and then go down. What would that be? Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times. And it is the eighth selection on the far left. That looks perfect. I still can't get over how good the top half looks. And look at him, man. He's, he's feeling himself. He's doing a bit of shadow boxing. He's really in his own vibe right now. So we're loving it. So moving on into the lower body, we're going to want to scroll down to bottoms as far as I'm aware, because he's not really going to wear any of these uh, trunks or the shorts. So this is looking promising already. There's a few black trouser options. What do these ones look like? Uh, he doesn't really wear pinstripes. What about these ones? Okay, they look great. Uh, I, don't, I think they might be locked though because there's a little uh, a little padlock next to it. So what about these ones top right here? Do these look any better? Okay, you know what? Those are perfect. They're the exact style of trousers that he wears and look at him giving us a little bit of a show in them. Uh, they're third row down and first one in from the left. And honestly, he's even got the belt with it, with the belt buckle. So yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and select these trousers and advance forward. Now moving into boots and shoes, and none of these really look like what Kyle would wear, so we're going to scroll all the way down and see if we can find some more brogue-like shoes. After what seems like a decade of scrolling, we're finally getting to some more normal-looking shoes, but whether we can pick up some that really look like his brogues, I'm not too sure. These ones do look promising though, what are these looking like? Yep, yeah, they look like the exact shoes that he wears, are there any others that might look a little bit better? These ones I think are a bit too formal for him. They're not quite the brogues that we're looking for. The first option honestly was probably the best. Yeah, again, they're a bit too suit trouser-like. We're really looking for those brogues with that massive heel that can kick people right in the head. Yeah, the other ones don't really look as good. So we're going to go ahead and select these ones, which I believe are the actual ones that he wears in game when you watch him in my GM. So these look perfect. And again, he's given us a little bit of a, a show in them. He obviously feels himself. So go ahead and we're going to select those uh, to complete the Kyle Slickman look. And honestly, I'm so happy with how it turned out. That looks exactly like Kyle Slickman in my book. I don't know about you guys, but honestly, he looks like the real deal. So now all we need to do is copy the attire over to the entrance and then we're done. So finally, we've got the personal information tab and I'm just going to quickly go through all of this and then show you what I've done at the end. Sorry, I'm just going to have to show you these because I've been going through the menu poses and some of them are genuinely hilarious. Like, what is he even doing? Um, yeah, some of these are hilariously funny. Uh, so if you do create your own Kyle, be sure to come into the menu pose and just look at some of these, man. They're absolutely perfect. I don't even know which one I want to want to choose. Uh, I've just been sat here for a good like 30 seconds just laughing at some of these. Um, so yeah, make sure to come and give yourself a giggle by looking at some of the poses. Uh, but I think I know which one I, I want to go for. Uh, it's not the Mick Foley. It is actually... 
Uh, this one, just the kind of hard man look. Uh, I can imagine him standing on the sideline, managing the crowd uh, with his audio technician headset on. Just looking at the crowd, trying to look beefy, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and select that one. But yeah, honestly, come and have a look at some of these. They're very, very funny. So I finally finished filling in the personal information and as you can see I've actually uploaded my uh, own render to the game so when he goes into the menu you'll be able to see him waving back at you uh, if you're selecting him which is always good to just kind of give it a more authentic feel. Now one of my favourite things is probably the crowd signs as they have two that actually say bold is beautiful which is incredible. So naturally I've gone ahead and chosen both of those so they'll both pop up while he's wrestling then I've got a greatest of all time banner and a my hero banner. Then finally for the side plates, I've gone for the Slickman money symbol on both sides because he is money, he is the main event, he is the biggest draw in the company. So that completes the creator wrestler for Kyle Slickman. If you did enjoy this video and are going to create your own Kyle Slickman, please do leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. This video was a bunch of fun to make and I cannot wait to continue my My Rise adventure with this man. So as always, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video.